Hello guys, I'm going to show you new features in version 2.5 of Pull On It uh, using this set. It is a cabin and we want it to be destroyed by this uh, animated law. Okay, for this uh, we are going to start by shattering uh, the cabin. Let uh, open side window set are about 350 for the uh, front wall and select local share style. Uh, check edit center option. This new option allows you to uh, place uh, more fragments where you want using locators in the viewport very easily. Okay, for, for instance, now near the window and near the impact area with the log and. Uh, there is another new uh, frame, cut material frame. Uh, this is uh, for uh, creating different cut materials for different objects. We can rename the material here in the frame and click on solid window. Okay, very nice. We have our wall uh, shaded with more fragments where the locator were uh, placed. And also the cut material has been created in the material editor. You can uh, modify it as we like. Okay. And let's continue by uh, sharing our uh, roof. For this, we are going to set uh, about 30 uh, shard per plank and use wood splinter shader. Just select a uh, longest axis to, to cut along the plank and cut material. We create a new material for the uh, roof. Okay, and click on select button. It is uh, shading the roof. It's done. Let's uh, check it. Very nice. Our planks shader as water splinter. And uh, let's continue by uh, shattering the other wall. This time we are going to set about uh, 250 fragments, set, select universal style, uh, make a new cut material, I click on shade button. It's done. So now we have our uh, cabin uh, shaded. We are going to start by setting some Dynamics properties for the object. Let's start by selecting the log and uh, set it as kinematic because it is animated. And select the ground object and set it as static so it doesn't move. And let's go to create fracture bodies for our cabin. Open basic fractures window select any of the planks and click on create. Solver is going to uh, select the whole roof because it recognizes uh, uh, the, the model as a whole and click, you can rename it if you like and click on OK. Our factory body has been created. Switch on the view to uh, check it. Okay, this is our factory body for the roof. And now let's uh, cre create another factory body for the rest of the cabin. For this, just select everything. Don't mind if you select the roof as well because the solver uh, is going to ignore it. Okay, click on. Uh, rename it if you like and click on OK. Switch on the view to check it and here our factory body for the uh, uh, walls of the of the cabin. Now let's uh, we can set different uh, factor uh, option for the different uh, objects. So we want the roof to be uh, weaker. We decrease hardness. And let's start computing dynamics for it. Uh, check baking keys and click on play 
button. And what happens is uh, the structure starts to collapse before uh, being impacted by the law. To fix this, it's very easy in Pullman version 2.5. Just uh, checking a static option for our fractal bodies. So in this way, they are not going to move until first input. Okay. So now let's uh, compute again with the static option enabled. Now the cabin stand, and when the log hits, it breaks and start to collapse. Let's uh, compute a few more frames. Everything breaking. Okay, let us stop this and check the result. Playing back our keys. Uh, strong explosion, then uh, the cabin collapsing. But it's possible we want uh, the extrusion to be more localized, not everything uh, collapsing, just uh, damaging the cabin in the impact area. For this, uh, it's very easy with pull on it. Uh, version 2.5 just in the activation frame set fracture bodies as breaks upon impact in this way they are going to uh, break but doesn't move let's uh, compute again using uh, break upon impact option now when the log hits it start to break but the cabin stand only the impact area it's uh, exploding and breaking. Very nice. Let's uh, check the result. Okay, only breaking in the uh, impact area. However, it's possible what you want is uh, damaging the uh, structure for a few frames then starting to collapse it. This is also possible with pull on it just setting in activation uh, frame. You can set the option uh, activation at frame and select the frame in which you want the uh, structure to start collapsing. For this just in this case we are going to set frame 45 to start collapsing. So before this frame, uh, we are going to get a local da damage, and then the cabin start to collapse at frame 45. Let's uh, check it, computing dynamics. First explosion in the impact area, and now at frame 45, the whole structure start to collapse. This is uh, a lot of control in the way uh, objects are destroyed. Okay, let's uh, stop this and check the result. Okay, playing back the keys. You can see the uh, cabin stand until frame 45 then start to collapse as we want it okay but we can do even more just uh, it's possible what you want is uh, you like the result but you want some of the some fragment to stand anyway for this for example maybe you want some uh, planks in the uh, roof to stand doesn't move. For this, you, we can do it as well with pull on it. Just by selecting those planks and using a basement fracture. Just select our roof here, switch on the view, open a basement fractures, and select the planks we wanted to stand. Doesn't move. Just selecting them with uh, in the viewport. They are blue. 
select uh, a group of them and click on set static. They are black, that means they are not going to move at all in dynamics. Switch off the stressor view and compute again. So now uh, the cabin should stand until first hit, then exploding because uh, the impact with the log collapsing a frame 45, but some planks should uh, remain uh, in the roof. Okay. Here we are. Our planks stand. The rest of the uh, roof uh, is falling because uh, our set in Abbas and Fractus. Let's uh, check the result once more. And you can do this uh, any any number of times you, you want to tweak your uh, uh, simulation in the way you prefer, making different tests, choosing the best one. Okay, another interesting feature in Pull on it is you can uh, uh, dump the strength of uh, explosion. For this, the these new parameters, damping, linear damping, and angular damping, we can uh, tweak them to uh, increase or reduce the strength of explosion. For instance, let uh, increase them a lot. So now our destruction should be more uh, smooth than before. Let's check it. Okay, now less violent and the motion of fragments is uh, they move a slow slower than before because there is a lot of damping. Let us uh, check play, playing back the keys to see it clearly. Now more damp uh, motion of uh, of the fragments. Okay. So well uh, we are going to uh, reset and set again our damping parameters uh, less damping because we I like uh, more exploding effect okay so decrease it to compute our final uh, scene with all our tweaks applied exploding the roof now starting to collapse some planks stand let it finish Okay, playing back the final result. From another point of view, and well, this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.